Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to show you how you can get started using custom fields in your pipe drive account. I'm gonna explain some common mistakes to avoid, and I'm gonna share some tips on how to customize your fields for different pipelines, different settings, and how we can take advantage of the new calculated fields feature. If you have any questions at the end of this video, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like one-on-one -on -one help with setting up or optimizing your Pipedrive account, maybe you want to improve the adoption within your team or even automate more of your sales process, then click the link in the description below to learn more about my Pipedrive consulting options. And I also just wanna give a special thank you to Pipedrive. Uh, I just received in the mail the award that we received for winning the Regional Partner of the Year winner for 2022. I actually also just received the award we got last year when we were the Global Partner of the Year. I think this got lost in the mail last year. So thank you for Pipedrive for the, for the recognition. Right, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now let me first explain what I mean by custom fields. So here we are on my deal pipeline. Here are the different deals or sales opportunities that I have in progress. And if I open one of these deals, on this left-hand sidebar, there's a bunch of information about this deal. And if I scroll down to this details section, all of these different fields here, these are custom fields where I can store important information, attributes, and data on the deal. But we also have custom fields that we can set up on the contact person. So here's Lois Lane, and you can see fields here for storing information like her birthday, notes, address, things like that. And we have deals, uh, we have custom fields that we can create on the organization. So this would be information that's pertinent to the company itself. Now, probably the most common mistake I see people making with their custom fields is creating fields on the wrong object. So creating a field on, for example, the person when really that field should be going on the deal. An a very common example of this is deal source, you know, a, the source of where did this, this come from? You know, did it come from our website? Did it come from a referral? It's a really useful bit of information to track, which we can later report on. Now, a lot of people create a custom field on the person called lead source. And, I, and this kind of makes sense. Like, where did this person come from? Did they come from the website or Facebook? But that's generally information that's actually better on the deal, because especially if we want to be able to report on that later, if we want to run a report to show deals that we've won segmented by source, you know, how many came from the website, LinkedIn, places like that, that information has to be on the deal in order to run a report like that. And if you wanna check out my video on custom reporting, click the link, uh, the linked video here. So it's important to create the fields on the correct object. If you are collecting and storing information specific to that sale or that transaction, things like uh, a summary of the project maybe, where did the deal come from? Uh, is there a budget for this particular project? Is there a deadline for the project? Information like that would go on the deal. Information about the person, like their birthday, maybe their location, best time to call, information about the individual would go or be created as custom fields on the person. And then finally, information about the company or the organization you're selling to, things like maybe their annual revenue, number of employees, the address of their headquarters, that information would be set up and put into custom fields on the organization. To create new custom fields, we want to go over to our company settings. And generally, this is a permission that's reserved for admins, but you can change these settings in your, in your team's permission sets. And if we go down to data fields here, this is where we can manage all of the fields in the account. And along the top here, you can see the different objects where we can add our custom fields. So as I mentioned, we can create fields on the lead or deal. So if you're using the lead inbox, and of course you're using deals, these are the custom fields that live on that object. If I go to person, these are fields that live on the person, organization, we can also create custom fields on products. An example of this might be, uh, here's, here's one number of bedrooms. Maybe if you work in real estate and you have properties set up as, project, as, as products, you could have the number of bedrooms as an attribute on that product. Or if you have the weight of a product, maybe you're shipping inventory. Uh, we have a client, they need to record the weight of each product. And then finally, we have project fields. If you're using the projects add-on in Pipedrive, these are fields where you can collect and store information specific to projects that you're working on. You can see an example here of the you know, go live date. 
To create a new custom field, you can click the add custom field button up here and choose the object where you want to add the field. So let's create a new deal field and I'm gonna call this uh, budget. So we'll give it a name. And then we have various field types and it's important to choose the right type of field to make sure that your team uh, are inputting information correctly. Certain field types can be filtered differently. For example, numerical and monetary fields, we can look for deals where the budget is greater than or less than a certain monetary value that is not supported with text fields. Single option fields where we can create drop down menus where we can have people pick from a menu, either a single option or if people can pick multiple options. These are quite good for uh, collecting information where maybe text is a bit too broad. We don't want people typing in anything. So single option and multi option are very useful. Numerical and monetary, yeah, useful for things like budget, uh, you know, um, number of uh, number of employees in the company. We can also set up custom fields for users in the company. So as well as having the owner of the deal, you could loop in or kind of use the custom field to show other salespeople, maybe like a sales development rep who booked, you know, a, a call for the um, for the for the closer. You could you could link in different people. We can also link other people or contacts to the deal. So as well as having a primary contact on the deal, you might link in who is the CEO or the key decision maker. We can set up time and date fields for things like, you know, do they have a deadline? What's the best time to call? And we've got address fields as well. So for this budget, I'm gonna use the monetary option. And then on the right over here, we have a few different settings that we can play with. So the first is we can choose whether we want this field to be pinned in the detail view. So what does that mean? In the details section here of the deal, so these are our deal custom fields, there's this option to expand or collapse the fields. So enabling the option to pin it to the details view means the field is always visible. So these ones here, summary, booking date, time, etc., they are always visible, even if they're empty. You know, there's no date in here at the moment, but the field is still visible. And then if I expand, I can see all these additional fields, almost like secondary or less important information, which I can hide uh, if I need to. So enabling that option lets me make that field always visible. I can then choose if I want this field to be fillable when I create a new uh, deal um, from the menu. So if I save that quickly, when I click the plus button up here and add a lead or a deal, this form that I can fill in, I can specify what fields like the deal type here, the budget, appear in this form. This is useful for inputting the initial information. Maybe there's certain information I need to put in straight away, but other fields that I might have, maybe things like commission, I'm not gonna know that immediately, so I don't need that in the add view. We also have the option to add this field to the project detail view. I'll link up here another video that I have about how to use projects. If I'm using the projects add-on to manage projects, you know, after I win a deal and I'm now managing a project here in Pipedrive, you can see down here, I can link the deal that corresponds to this project to this project. So I can see the Tim Cook Apple deal in here. And by enabling that option to display the custom field in the project, I can see those fields in here. So this information that I've already collected, uh, a summary of the project and the budget, those custom fields I can see here in the project for quick reference while I'm working on these tasks. Thanks to a recent update, we now have the ability to customize what pipelines uh, this custom field appears on. So if I go back to my deal pipeline here, you can see I've got multiple pipelines here for different revenue streams or different uh, sales journeys that I have. So I have a normal sales pipeline, I've got a mortgage pipeline, sponsorship pipeline, and so on. And I, I might have certain custom fields that are only relevant to some pipelines. So what I can do, if we edit our budget field, I can say, I want this budget field to appear on the sales pipeline, but it's not really relevant to renewals or prospecting, so I'm gonna disable those. So now, if I create a deal on one of these two pipelines, this field won't be there. It basically won't exist for a deal on those pipelines. So this is really useful if you have different revenue streams, different sales journeys, which require different information to be collected, and it's gonna keep that details view nice and clean. And finally, down here, we have some quality rules. Firstly, I'll, go, I'll skip to this important one. We have the ability to set a field as being important. 
Now this does require you to have Pipedrive's uh, advanced subscription, the advanced one here. If I just show you the plan details, this option here, important fields, is available on advanced and professional and higher. What an important field means is if I say, okay, on my sales pipeline, when I get to the needs defined stage or later, I can make this field important and it gets highlighted and it's sort of gonna prompt the salesperson to fill this in. So going back to my Lois Lane deal, you can see I'm being prompted to please fill the booking date, time, and the budget field. These are all important fields because I'm at this needs defined stage. If I want to take this a step further, I can even make the field required. And this is actually a professional feature, being able to set up a field as required. But this is really useful for basically forcing your team to input the data when the deal gets to the correct stage. So I could say, again, on my sales pipeline, when we move the deal to proposal sent or any of the later stages, or if I mark my deal as won or lost, or well, actually I probably wouldn't do that one, in order to move the deal to that stage, this field has to be filled in. So if I look at my lowest lane deal again, you'll see the budget field has now turned red. This is basically saying this field is now required. And for me to move it to the next stage, stage proposal sent, if I try and do that, you see Pipedrive is going to pop up this box and it's going to ask me to put in a value. And now this gets filled in and you can see my budget field has a value in there. This is a really useful feature and definitely a reason to consider upgrading to that professional plan because it's going to require your team to fill in and put information in the correct place. And Pipedrive is the kind of tool where the quality of the input determines the quality of the output. If you want good reporting, if you want to be able to segment and analyze your deals and your sales data later, we need to have information in the CRM. And one of the ways that we see clients really under using Pipedrive or where they're not getting as much value as they could is when data is not input correctly by the sales team. So requiring information to be filled in is a really useful way of improving the quality of the data capture in your account. A useful feature we now have in the professional plan and hire, you can see here, is the ability to create formula fields. So formula fields apply if you're using a monetary or numerical field type and as the name suggests, this is where you can have a field perform a calculation or you know, run a formula for you. So let's use commission as an example. Down here, I can put in my formula and I can type the pound sign. And you can see this brings up different numerical sort of attributes of the deal that I can use in my calculation. So a lot of these are either custom fields, like there's my deal budget field uh, that I created before. And a lot of these are just system fields, like the activities to do, that's just a, a, a part of pipe drive. It's not a custom field, it's just sort of a number on the deal. The deal value, of course, probably one of the most useful ones is what's the deal worth. So I can say, I wanna do the deal value, and I'm gonna use a spreadsheet style formula here. I'm gonna choose uh, times, I'm gonna use the asterisk to do times. And then um, maybe for my commission, I pay 20%, so we'll go times 0.2. So when my deal value is filled in, the field is gonna multiply the deal value by 0.2 and it's gonna fill in the commission. I can then choose if I want to apply this formula only to new deals created from now on, or if I want to backdate this for all new and open deals. So if I go back to my lowest lane deal here, you can see I don't have a value yet and my commission is currently empty. You can see it hasn't been calculated. If I add a value in here, so let's just say for easy numbers, let's just say this is a $10,000 deal. This will automatically update. Um, if you refresh your page, I mean, you can see it actually just updated automatically there. Or if you change the value, you can click the refresh button to rerun the calculation. So formula fields are great for fairly simple calculations, but where we have noticed some limitations with this feature is for more advanced or conditional formulas. For example, we've worked with a client and they have a commission calculation like this, but instead of it being a simple value times percentage, they pay different commission brackets based on different values. And for that type of calculation where it's sort of, if the deal value is greater than X, but less than Y, we wanna use this percentage, Currently right now, the, the formula fields don't support that kind of conditional logic. That's something we would have to use uh, an automation tool like Zapier to perform the calculation for. If you need help with uh, automations like that, feel free to get in touch.
And so that is a look at how to get started with custom fields in Pipedrive. I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.